Let's add a real signature to a graphic in Photoshop. So I just took this picture with my iPhone of my signature on a white piece of paper. I'm gonna drag in this photo to our document here. And first I'm just gonna mask out just the signature. We don't have to worry about the, the table that I took the picture on. So to do this, I'm gonna go to my rectangular marquee tool or M on the keyboard and just draw a dotted line marching ant box around the signature. Then I'm gonna click this mask icon in the bottom right to add this layer mask. So we can worry about the positioning later. First, let's add a gradient map to our image layer by going down to your adjustments and go to gradient map. We're gonna clip this to just the signature so it's not affecting the layer below it. We can honestly hide the background layer for now. We don't really have to deal with it. So let's clip it anyway by holding option and clicking on the space between these layers. And now we just have it affecting our signature. So this black to white gradient map is exactly what we want. But see how it's a gray piece of paper right now? We want as much contrast as possible. We basically want the black signature on a perfectly white background. So to do that, just drag these sliders closer to each other. And if you had different colors that it defaulted to, if you go up to basics, you should have a black to white option. So just drag these sliders inward and that's just reducing the amount of gray that's in the image. So once we have something like this, this is perfect. We'll hit okay on the gradient map and we have this black signature on a white background. I'm gonna select both of these layers and duplicate them just in case we have to make changes later. I'm gonna hide the two original layers and then I'm gonna merge these two layers together. So we just have a single layer with this black signature on a white background. Command E is the shortcut to merge any two layers together. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Now we just have the rasterized flattened image of our signature. Next, let's take this image and make it the mask of a solid color layer. So go down to your adjustments and go to solid color. If we want our signature to be white, or maybe let's pick red for now, Let's choose this red color. And then in the mask here, we're gonna copy and paste our signature layer directly in there. So let's click on our signature and then Command A to select all. That's gonna put marching ants around the entire window. And then Command C is copy. And now if you option click on any mask, that's gonna show the mask. So now if we Command V, our signature, you're gonna see we've pasted in the signature to the mask of this solid color layer. And because the way masks work is anything in white shows through and anything in black does not, we want the inverse of what we're seeing right now. So we want the signature to actually be in white and everything around it be in black. So that the signature is the only thing showing through on this red color layer. So to invert the mask, we'll hold Command and hit I. And you can also go up to image, adjustments, invert to get the same effect. But now we have this white signature on a black background in the mask of this red color layer. So when you go back to our layer, we have the red signature on a transparent background and we can change the color of the signature. So let's bring back up our background and let's say we wanted to match this blue color. You can eyedropper this blue, just when you double click a color fill layer that will open up your color selector. So if we wanna put the signature here, you can also add a texture to the signature. Maybe we want a gold signature. So if we brought in this gold texture, you can size it down and then clip this gold to our signature by holding option, clicking between layers. And now we have this gold texture going over it. Maybe we wanted to keep the color underneath, so we changed the blend mode to luminosity. Then you just have like the texture of golds, but still on our blue color. So endless possibilities. You can just go back to basics, make it a white signature, whatever you want to do. But that is how you add a signature to any graphic in Photoshop.